afternoon and welcome to this week's Read Aloud. So I am Mrs. Dearland and I am a teacher with the Sun West Distance Learning Center. So please comment below, where are you from? What grade are you in? And you know, this is our series. Maybe you have a prediction. Who do you think is going to win in the rhino versus the hippo? All right. So for the last story of our reading series, we are going to have something special next week. So please join us here at the same time as we travel virtually to the Calgary Zoo. We are going to be exploring the African safari. So I hope that you have enjoyed the listening guides and had a chance to explore some of the extra materials from them. So if you don't have today's, the link is below that you can go and check out all of the following along questions as well as some extra resources. So I see quite a few of us are joining us today. I see lots of hellos and people from all over. So let's get started on our story by Mr. Jerry Pallotta and illustrated by Rob Bolster. What would happen if a rhinoceros came face to face with a hippopotamus? What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? So I'm curious, what are your predictions? Do we think that the giant hippopotamus, maybe the rhino? Oh, I see uh, some good rivalry happening at home where one student is voting for one and one for the other. Oh, a good prediction. Odette says rhino because of the horn. So maybe the horn will be an advantage. Oh, it's kind of split. I see lots of different ones. Oh, a rhino on top. Hmm. And I see I have some more students joining in. Awesome. Well, let's read and learn about these two animals and find out who we think will win. So let's meet a rhino. Rhino is a shortened version of rhinoceros, which means nose horn. They certainly do have horns. And this one in particular is a white rhino. Now, a cool fun fact about the white rhino is that they cannot swim. Now, the white rhino is the second largest land mammal. Only elephants are bigger. So you can only imagine how big these guys must be. Now, their scientific name is Ceratotherium semum. So let's meet the hippo now. This is, hippo is a shortened version of hippopotamus. Hippopotamus means river horse. So from now on, we'll call them the rhino and the hippo. Now a fact is that hippos are mammals. And a mammal is a warm-blooded animal with fur or hair that gives milk to its young. The hippo's scientific name is Hippopotamus amphibious. Now the types of rhinos. There are five species of rhinos. So if you take a look at all of those different ones, the top one is the white rhino. Now white rhinos and black rhinos actually are both gray and look quite alike. The bottom one is the Sumatran rhino. We have the Indian rhino and we have a Javan rhino. Now a horn fact is the Indian and Javan rhinos have only one horn. Now there are two species of hippos. There's the hippopotamus and the pygmy hippo. Now the pygmy hippo is half as tall as a hippopotamus. So the pygmy hippo weighs in only at one fourth as much as a hippo. So it is quite a bit smaller. The white rhino territory. So white rhinos, they live in Africa. So this is the area where the white rhinos originally would have lived. Now the white rhinos have been introduced into two different places in Africa. Now a really cool fact is that rhinos have been on earth for more than 50 million years. That is a really long time. They like to live in grasslands and savannas. And a savanna is a grassy area 
with few trees. Now the hippo territory, the hippos, they also live in Africa. So you can see lots of different purple splotches all over the continent. So hippo, hippos prefer to live in swampy areas near lakes, rivers, and streams. And did you know that them resting in water actually helps them to stay cool? So let's take a look at their diet. White rhinos eat grass, 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 and more grass. Rhinos are not meat eaters. They have no interest in eating a hippo. And white rhinos, they have wide lips. So you can see that is their mouth. They pull up grass with their lips. They chew the grass with their back molars. So a grass eater, another name is called a grazer. This is a baby rhino. Now a rhino, it has four sections to its stomach. It takes a lot to digest grass. Now when rhinos are born, they can weigh up to 90 pounds. I bet that's more than what some of you might even weigh. Now the hippo diet. Hippos also eat grass and some leaves. They prefer to eat at night and rest during the day. Now this is a neat fact that areas that have been eaten by hippos are called hippo lawns. Now this is a hippo baby. I don't know which is cuter, the baby hippo or the baby rhino? What do you think? They're pretty cute. A baby hippo weighs between 60 and 100 pounds. So next we are gonna look at the rhinoceros and the hippopotamus skeleton. A rhinoceros is a vertebrate animal. Vertebrates have backbones just like humans. So did you know that a rhinoceros has a heavy head? The Xylotoceros jamestinensis. I spent a lot of time trying to learn how to say that word and that is the best I can get. But we would know it as a rhinoceros beetle. So this insect, it shares its name with the rhino. Now a hippo is also a vertebrate. Its spinal cord runs from its brain to its tail. So hippos have shorter bones at the shoulder because they spend so much time in the water. Now that on there in that corner is a hippopotamus beetle. Now the hippopotamus beetle's scientific name is Royus wanderalius. Now I'm curious, one of these insects on the two pages is fake. Which one do you think it is? The rhino beetle or the hippopotamus beetle? It's the hippo. This one is a real one. So let's find out about the free ride that some animals get with the rhinoceros. How would you like to ride around on a rhino? That is what the oxapecker do. These birds eat ticks, fleas, blood sucking flies and insect larvae off the back of rhinos. The oxapecker also eats earwax. They can also be called tick birds. Now a neat color fact about these birds is that they are easy to recognize as they have red eyes and red beaks. Now the oxapeckers live only where there are larger mammals. They also like to ride on cattle, giraffes, zebras, and sometimes buffalo. Some scientists think that it's a mutual relationship in which rhino and oxapecker both benefit, but others, they think that the bird is a parasite. Now, the rhino or the hippo also gets some free cleaning and they have a similar relationship as the uh, rhino and the oxapecker. The hippo loves the water. And one reason might be that the carp that cleans its teeth hide and lips. So a carp is a type of freshwater fish. There is also a fish that follows hippos and eats their waste. So a hippo can hold its breath for five minutes. That's a really long time. Have you ever tried to hold your breath and see how long you can hold it for? 
I bet we can't do it for five minutes. Hippos love fresh water and so do humans. So this sometimes creates conflicts between people and hippos. The rhino foot. So a rhino foot has three toes. You can see one, the center and three. But now an elephant foot, it has five. And the hippo foot has four. So if we look at this bottom image, this blue is the largest mammal. It is considered the blue whale. So then the largest land mammal is our elephant. The second largest land mammal is the rhino. And the third largest land mammal is the hippo. So they are very small compared to the largest mammal. So a horse, if this is a fun fact for you, only has one toe. Did you know that? Now the rhino's weapons. A rhino's best weapon is its size. It is huge. They stand six feet tall at the shoulders and they weigh 8,000 pounds. That is huge. Now the rhino's horn is actually made of keratin. Now keratin is the same material that your hair and your fingernails are made of. So these guys are four tons because 8,000 pounds equals four tons. So let's take a look at what the hippo's weapons are. The hippo's best weapons are its huge teeth and strong jaw. It has six big front teeth on its upper jaw and four teeth and two long tusks on its lower jaw. And it chews with its back molars. So a fact about the hippo is elephants, hippos, walruses, and wild boars all have tusks. Now a tusk is a long pointed tooth and they are usually found in pairs. Now the hippo, its size is also a great weapon and they weigh in around three tons. Let's take a look at their skin. So rhinos, they are mammals, but they have almost no hair. So they like to roll in the mud to protect their skin from the hot sun. So you can kind of see the way that their skin is. If you kind of look up close. All right. Hippos, they almost have no hair as well. Their skin looks like armor, but it's actually very sensitive. Hippos have a natural skin lotion and their skin oozes a reddish orange oil. So you can see the difference in the picture that this one's a little pinker than this one. Now, if we look at this chart at the bottom, it shows that human skin on the thickness chart, ours is about one eighth of an inch. Now an elephant skin, it is one inch. A white rhino skin is one and a half inches. And the hippo skin is the thickest coming in at two inches thick. That's pretty big. Holy man. So let's learn about how they hear and see. The rhino can swivel its ears in different directions. It has excellent hearing. Now the hippo's head, it is beautifully designed. When swimming, its ears, its nose, and its eyes are all above water. It is always on the lookout. Now a group of rhinos is called a crash. And if we had a group of hippos, they would be called a bloat. Did you know that a rhino can smell and hear a lion? before it sees it. And a hippo, it can sleep underwater at, because while it is sleeping, it will surface every five minutes to breathe. Those are some pretty cool skills. Now the rhino's speed 
In short bursts, a rhino can run 30 miles per hour. So a running fact is that a rhino can easily outrun a human. And a rhinoceros can gallop, kind of like a horse. Now a hippo, it can run about 18 miles per hour. A hippo has no interest in running a marathon. It is not designed for long distance running. And did you know that a hippo can outrun most humans? They run around 18 miles per hour. So now according to zoologists, the closest known relatives to the hippos are dolphins and whales. A zoologist is a scientist who studies animals and animal behaviors. So the rhino is definitely faster than the hippo. All right, this is the silly page of this book. It says, listen, don't do it. I told the illustrator not to show the rhino's rear end, but he did. They even wrote little silly notes to each other. The, illustr the, um, the author writes to the illustrator, Bob. I don't think it's a good idea to show the rhino's rear end. And he responds, I think the editor and the art director are upset that you showed the hippo's rear end. So they showed to say that the tail of the rhino actually has no significant function. From behind, the hippo and the rhino, rhino they look similar. The hippo has a small tail. It's not long like a snow leopard tail and it's not fluffy like a horse tail, and it's not good for balance like a kangaroo tail. So they're really just there. Well, let's now take a look at who we think has the advantage out of these two animals. So comment below if you think one of them has an advantage over the others. Let me know who, if you're if your prediction has changed. If you voted for rhino at the beginning, have you changed to hippo? Maybe you voted for hippo and want to change to rhino. So if we take a look at weight, the rhino, it definitely has the advantage. How about size? The rhino again, it has the advantage. Weapons, hmm. Well, the horn is pretty big and strong, but that hippo, it has pretty big teeth. Skin. Well, the hippo has thicker skin than the rhino. Now the ears, they both hear pretty well. However, the rhino can hear a lion. So I think that it might have the advantage. Now swimming ability. Well, we learned that rhino can't swim. I see a prediction, Aiden still thinks Rhino's gonna win. So Hippo for sure has swimming ability challenge. Oh, now both Ramona and Odette have changed to Rhino. And speed, Rhino or Hippo? I think the Rhino had advantage, but the Hippo might have advantage in the water. Well, let's go and find out who is going to win this battle. The thirsty rhino walks over to the watering hole. As the rhino takes a drink, the hippo it opens its mouth and it scares the rhino away. So that thirsty rhino, he tries again and the hippo opens its big mouth and the frightened rhino, it backs off. Later, the hippo wants a drink this time, the rhino charges and it chases the hippo. So the hippo returns and the rhino it lowers its head and it flashes its horn. And this time the hippo runs away. Now rhinos, they don't eat hippos and hippos don't eat rhinos, but they are fighting for the same water. Hmm. Again, the hippo opens its mouth and the rhino runs away. The rhino returns and charges the hippo. At the last second, the hippo turns around and opens its powerful jaws and the rhino retreats. The rhino, 
slowly walks back with its head down and horns ready. The hippo swings around quickly and it bites the rhino on its hind leg. Ouch! The rhino's leg is broken and it limps away. The rhino has made a fatal mistake. So if you see here, who's watching that rhino? So the hippopotamus won this battle. Is that the ending we thought would happen? I would love to know how you might rewrite this story. How would you change it? So thank you very much for joining us and joining us throughout this series. So I encourage you to send your listening guides in to teacher and tell them a fact that you learned about rhinos or hippos today. If you follow the resources from the listening guide, you will find the links where you can watch both the rhino and the hippo on live cams in different zoos. Or maybe you feel like learning how to draw a hippo or a rhino. You can further your learning in lots of different ways. So to wrap up the reading portion of this series, I have a giveaway for one lucky listener. So the book is Who Would Win? The Ultimate Jungle Rumble. So these are a little bit different than the ones we've been reading. It is a series that starts out with 16 creatures and it all comes down to one winner. So I haven't read this one yet, so I can't wait to gift it to someone and find out who wins. So to win this, you need to send me a picture that you have drawn or maybe a paragraph or another creative means to show me a battle that you would like to see in this series. So your submission must include two animals, their names, and a few fun facts on who you think would win. So remember, two animals, their names, a few fun facts, and tell me how you think they would win. So I brought an example. So here, a student created who would win. Now they did unicorn versus cat and made it into a book. So they wrote all of their information in a story with pictures and created an image. So send those in to me to get your name in and I will be drawing for that book after our field trip, which is next week. So I hope that you will join us again next week at 1.30. We are going to be wrapping up all of this with, um, I guess, exploring some animals. We are going to be going on an African safari, safari um, at the Calgary Zoo. So this live field trip will be an opportunity for us to maybe meet some of the animals that we have read about up and close. I'm really hoping that we get to see the hippopotamus and the lions as they are two of my favorite. And the last time I saw the hippo, they were brushing his teeth at the Calgary Zoo. So thank you again for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you all back here next week. Goodbye, everybody.